Hey everybody, I'm the Movie Man, here to talk about movies! The Oscars! Ah yes! Love them or hate them, we movie lovers can't help but tune in to the Oscars. Most of the time, we'll agree with the nominees and the winners, and most of the time we'll <clears throat> heavily disagree with the winners and nominees. A lot of people have complained, why don't popular movies ever win or get nominated? You know, Spider-Man, The Avengers, Spider-Man. The last time we had a blockbuster win the award was with Lord of the Rings and The Return of the King. So that had me thinking. Has the Marvel Cinematic Universe ever won an Oscar? Well, why don't we figure that out as we will look at how many Oscars has the MCU won? Now, before we get started, there is one ground rule. I am only including, of course, MCU films. So, you know, Spider-Man films with Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Hardy, Spider-Verse. None of the Fantastic Four films, none of the X-Men films, as none of those take place in the MCU. Now that we got that out of the way, let us continue. Let's go from the beginning with Iron Man, the one that started it all in 2008. It was nominated for two Oscars for Best Sound Editing and Best Visual Effects. It lost to The Dark Knight in Sound Editing and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button with Visual Effects. The Incredible Hulk also premiered that same year, but it got no nominations. Let us jump to 2010 for the next Marvel film with Iron Man 2. It once again was nominated for another Oscar for Best Visual Effects. But that was also the same year we had Christopher Nolan's Inception, so you can take a guess which movie took the award that year. Now we go to 2011 with Thor and Captain America, the first Avenger, and neither received any nominations. Marvel wasn't popular just yet. Franchises like Twilight, Transformers, Harry Potter, and Pirates were dominating at that time. Luckily for Marvel, many of them were in their final stages, as this was the year we got the last Harry Potter movie. Oh, and Twilight was also in its final films as well. After 2011, both Transformers and Pirates of the Caribbean would go downhill in the years that followed. Not to worry, Marvel would have its moment. So let's go to 2012, as that was the moment Marvel solidified itself on the map with The Avengers, nominated for Best Visual Effects, and it lost to Life of Pi. Sorry, but Richard Parker took home the Oscar that year. Now we go to 2013 with Iron Man 3. It was nominated for Best Visual Effects. But that was the same year we had Alfonso Cuaron's Gravity, as it took home the award for Best Visual Effects that night. There was also the same year we got Thor The Dark World, but that one got no love from the Oscars. 2014, we got not one, but two Marvel films that were nominated that year. Captain America The Winter Soldier received an Oscar nomination for Best Visual Effects, and Guardians of the Galaxy received two nominations, also for Best Visual Effects and Best Makeup and Hairstyling. Unfortunately, Christopher Nolan strikes back again as Interstellar came out that year, and that was the one that took the award for Best Special Effects. But as for Guardians of the Galaxy for Best Makeup and Hairstyling, that award went to Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel. 2015, we had two more Marvel movies with Age of Ultron and Ant-Man, but this was the second year that a Marvel film received no Academy Award nominations. Why is that? Well, that was the year we had films like The Martian, Mad Max, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Each of these films received Academy Award nominations from Best Visual Effects, Best Sound, Production Design, Editing, and in the case of The Martian and Mad Max, Best Picture. Let us jump to 2016, where once again, we got two Marvel movies, Captain America Civil War and Doctor Strange. But only Doctor Strange received an Academy Award nomination for, take a wild guess, Best Visual Effects. It was between that film and The Jungle Book. This was a really tough call as both films have spectacular visual effects, but in the end, it was Jungle Book that went with the award that year. Guardians of the Galaxy would give it another Oscar nomination in 2017 with Best Visual Effects, only to be beaten by Blade Runner 2049. Spider-Man Homecoming and Thor Ragnarok premiered that same year, but received no nominations. Now we go to 2018 with Black Panther, as lo and behold, we have a movie that was nominated for more than one Oscar. Better yet, two Oscars, as Guardians of the Galaxy and the first Iron Man film were the only ones to receive at least two nominations. But Black Panther received not one, not two, not three, but seven Academy Award nominations. Nominated for Best Picture, Best Original Song, Best Sound Editing, and Best Sound Mixing, which it did not win in those categories. Best Picture went to Green Book, Best Original Song went to A Star Is Born, 
and the sound Oscars both went to Bohemian Rhapsody, but it did not walk away empty-handed. It won three Academy Awards, Best Production Design, beating the favorite First Man, Roma, and Mary Poppins Returns, Best Costume Design, once again beating the favorite, The Battle of Buster Scruggs, and Mary Poppins Returns, and Best Original Score, beating The Isle of Dogs, Mary Poppins Returns, If Bill Street Could Talk, and Black Klansman. This was historic. Marvel had finally won an Academy Award. So, wow. Nice going, Black Panther. Not to mention, being the first superhero movie in cinema history to be nominated for Best Picture. It wasn't the only one to be nominated that year, as Avengers Infinity War was also nominated for Best Visual Effects, but it lost to First Man. Ant-Man and the Wasp also came out that year, but that one received no Academy Award nominations. Now let us go to 2019, where we had Captain Marvel, Endgame, and Far From Home. And it was Endgame that received any Oscar love, as it was nominated for Best Visual Effects. But it lost to 1917. In 2021, the MCU released four movies with Shang-Chi, The Eternals, Black Widow, and Spider-Man No Way Home. But only two would be nominated, and those lucky candidates were Shang-Chi and Spider-Man No Way Home, both nominated for Best Visual Effects competing against Dune, Free Guy, and No Time to Die. In the end, Dune emerged as the victor. The future holds Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, so we shall see where the MCU goes from here. And so now, let us tally up the marks. In terms of Oscar nominations, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been nominated 21 times, 12 for special effects, 2 times for sound editing, and 1 for makeup, hairstyling, original song, sound mixing, and best picture. As for Oscar wins, it has won 3. Original score, costume design, and production design, all for Black Panther. As of today, Black Panther has the record of the most nominations and wins for the MCU, with 7 nominations and 3 wins. Iron Man has been nominated for 4 Academy Awards, Avengers has been nominated for 3, Guardians of the Galaxy has also been nominated for 3, Captain America, Doctor Strange, Shang-Chi, and Spider-Man have each received an Academy Award nomination. But on the bright side, the MCU has never been nominated for a Razzie. The Razzies are basically the anti-Oscars, where the Oscars honor the best of cinema, the Razzies honor the worst of cinema. At the very least, the MCU has never been nominated for such prestigious award shows, so there's that. And that is the list. So, what do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with the final results? Let your thoughts know in the comments below. I have been the Movie Man, and I will see y'all on the next video.